Well, it's one rainy day, and you know what that means. It's time to make a fan video. Alright, so I'm filming in the workshop today because the lighting in here is a little bit nicer, and it's also cloudy and raining outside today, so natural lighting wasn't really the option. So anyways, uh, here we have a 1980s Sanyo 9-inch oscillating table fan. Now this fan happens to be a very similar, almost a matching set, with my 12-inch Sears fan that was also made by Sanyo, also from the 1980s, as they both have the same shade of kind of like this golden brown blades, the uh, same matte black, or not matte black, matte silver uh, grills, and just overall the similar kind of build, the quality is about the same, and it also has the exact same cord on it. So let's take a closer look at it. You have the Sanyo badge here, the blades, which are supposed to be transparent, but uh, it's got this haze all over it. I think it's some kind of a residue. I hope it's not um, cigarette residue because those are always kind of a pain to get off, but yeah, I don't think those are scratches, so that's good news. Yeah, this fan looks clean from the front, but it's not until you look at the side and the back that you realize it's not exactly the cleanest fan. It's got this nice band that kind of just swoops down from the neck down to the switch. It's a little slider switch, two speeds. I like the design, it looks really cool. And also the base is really uh, streamlined. You don't really see those jagged corners. So it's modern yet vintage. It's kind of a neat design. Not my favorite kind of design, I always prefer like, you know, square corners, all those really old square body design, but uh, this does look nice. It suits this fan pretty nicely. Here is the side view. Yeah, you can now see in those uh, nooks and crannies that uh, whoever cleaned this fan before did not do a very good job, and check this out. Yeah, I'm guessing at one point this entire back looked just like this. Yuck. Now a couple things to note on the side. Well, from the side view, the oscillator knob is missing and it's completely sheared off of the gearbox shaft, which is kind of an interesting problem. I've never seen that before. So my plan with that is, well, for now I'm just going to leave it the way it is, but eventually I may do a... 3D model in CAD, and if I can find someone who has the resources to do uh, 3D printing out of nylon, that may be an option, but for now I don't really have, I don't have any spare parts for that because it's completely broken, but I'll, I'll figure something out eventually. And also the second thing is kind of an interesting feature. The head wire is exposed here. It's not um, tucked away in here. It's kind of swinging out here, which I guess is good in the sense that it, it doesn't really um, impact the oscillation because it's such a freely swinging wire. But at the same time, I'm not sure if this is even factory. At one point, this may have been like all shoved up in here, like my other Sanyo fan. But I'm not sure if this is original or not, but I'll find out when I take it apart and hopefully uh, correct it so it's... Uh, the way it would have been when it came out of the factory. But I do like this though, because if this is the way that it came out of the factory, I'll keep it. But otherwise I'll correct it to make it look right. Here is the back. It's got a neat uh, motor vent design. Kind of reminds me of those bathroom fan covers. <laughs> Here's the info sticker, which is pretty crumpled up. Model EFC 9HD. HD, this is a high definition fan. 0.49 amps, and uh, it's got some numbers on it. I'm not sure what the significance is of these numbers. It probably says Sanyo Electric Company Limited. Made in Mexico. Neat. 
Now on the bottom, there's not a whole lot to see. It's got this, uh, I don't know what this material is, some sort of a plastic uh, board. It's missing all of the feet except one. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and test it. It does work, but uh, it needs to be oiled. It's pretty gummy, so here it is, speed one. Um, I believe it's low. Let's find out. Yes, this does appear to be low speed. Now, one common issue that you often see with 9-inch oscillating fans, especially the Lasco ones, is the bearings go bad because... Yeah, it's kind of resonating through the dehumidifier, but... Oh, that's irritating. But you often hear the bearings rattle a lot because the shaded pole motors run hot and also the lack of lubrication ultimately uh, destroys the bearings. But this one, the bearings sound nice and quiet, which is always a relief to hear. <laughs> yeah, when it's not uh, rattling against the dehumidifier, it's pretty quiet. It looks like it's got, it's gotten quiet now. Yeah, it's a nice fan. It does perform very similar to the other Sanyo fan that I have, the 9-inch uh, Sanyo Superior fan. Equally quiet, and uh, not super powerful, but it's an acceptable amount of air for a 9-inch fan that's this quiet. Alright, here it is, bumping it up to speed 2. Oh yeah! Now, that's a big improvement or I should say a big jump from low speed. It was pretty quick. Let's give you an idea of the pitch. Not bad at all. It shakes a little bit, but not too bad. So of course I won't be able to demonstrate the oscillator because once I push the knob down, the only way for me to turn it off is to kind of reach through the bottom with a screwdriver and push the, the gear up. So it's, it's a hassle, so not really worth doing it in this video. So there it is on high, it's a good running fan. Kind of a shame that the oscillator knob is missing. All right, so there you have it, guys. That is the 1980s Sanyo 9-inch oscillating fan. So we'll eventually get this fan cleaned up and hopefully looking much nicer and uh, running even better. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.